Hey guys, so do you remember this iPod Touch 4th generation? I made a video on this iPod Touch around a month ago, and uh, basically I was saying, reviewing it and saying stuff about it, and uh, it got a lot of views, and uh, I gained a lot of subscribers from it, but I forgot to talk about one crucial thing. Okay, so I got a couple of comments like this, uh, telling me to uh, jailbreak the iPod. And fun fact, uh, it's already jailbroken. I uh, jailbroke the uh, black iPod Touch, the 32 gigabyte one. Uh, if you can see the 32 gigabyte symbol. Anyway, uh, I did jailbreak it already, and uh, it's already jailbroken. I already got City installed on it. The only jailbreak kind of stuff I did do in the video and did mention is that you can install iOS 7 on these with a modification. I did it on my white model. Uh, then I proceeded to, after the video, restore the white model and sell it for 10 bucks, making a $4 profit because I bought it for $6 down at the Valley Village. Profit for me. But hence, uh, I do think I owe you guys a video about how to jailbreak this. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be jailbreaking this iPod. And before we get into this, there is a risk that your data will, uh, that your iPod will self-destruct itself and break itself. You may have to restore it through iTunes, or worst comes to worst, your iPad might be a iPod no bueno. So, uh, yeah, you're taking a small, tiny risk. Alright, so to jailbreak the iPod Touch 4th generation, first of all, you will need an iPod Touch 4th generation. This could be any size variant. Uh, I don't really think it matters. Uh... Uh, I have the 32 gigabyte one with me uh, and second of all you will need a Windows or Mac PC now this Windows PC will have to be running an older version of iTunes which I will get to in the video and uh, a 30 pin cable uh, to plug in the iPod to your computer okay so the first thing I am going to do personally is I am going to plug the uh, iPod into my uh, Mac right here and I am going to restore it to factory settings the reason I'm restoring this uh, factory settings is because I already jailbroken this thing and if I want to show you it, I'm going to have to restore it. <laughs> but uh, you don't have to do this, this isn't a, it isn't a necessary step for everybody. Uh, I am only doing it because I've jailbroken this before and I want to show you guys. iPod uh, set up and stuff. Uh, we have it restored to the uh, state it was in. And uh, now I'm just gonna connect to iTunes, continue without Wi Fi, uh, continue. I'm just gonna set it up with my, uh, uh, I, my uh, Mac and get back to you. Alright, so I switched over to my uh, Windows PC because my because on Windows it's a bit more complicated. You need to uh, go into your programs and features and uninstall a program and you need to uninstall everything made by Apple if you already have if you don't already have if you already have uh, iTunes installed. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uninstall that so uh, Bonjour and uh, iTunes you'll need to uninstall. And I think that's pretty much it. Alright, so after that, you will want to rename the iTunes folder in your uh, directory. And I, again, this is only if you already have iTunes installed, because we will need to be installing an older version. We will rename this to whatever we want.
Well, you can name it to whatever you want, but I'll just name it to that because it's funny. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to be going into the uh, Microsoft Edge uh, because that's my browser of choice right now because I don't have any other uh, browsers installed in this specific Windows machine because I don't use it often. And uh, download an older version of iTunes. Okay, now what we want to do is go to ipsw.me slash iTunes. And from here, we will be uh, downloading iTunes 11.1.5, released on Gen February of 26 of 2014. We will be downloading the version that's applicable to us. This is a 64-bit machine and has 64-bit windows, so we're going to be uh, downloading 64-bit 11.5, uh, 11.1.5. Uh, we will wait for that to download right here. And uh, once this is done, we can just wait for it to finish. This is really anticlimactic, and it does right when I say it's anticlimactic. Uh, this my okay. It's showing up on the other screen. Okay, from here we can install iTunes, and uh, uh, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that either, and we're just gonna press install and wait for that to install. <laughs> So now that we have iTunes installed, the iTunes version that I wanted to install, we will now go over to the uh, the other monitor and we are going to install PoxySpawn. Uh, by the way, all the links for this will be in the description, so if you want to do this, uh, you'll be able to have the links in the description of everything in the description. So this is the mega leak in the description. It basically holds every uh, legacy jailbreak and stuff. Uh, so this is, this will go to a web page like this, and, uh, what we want to do is go down to, uh, Poxyspawn. Uh, we'll go down to Windows for Windows, if you have a Mac, which I'll cover later, we will go to ma the Mac version. We'll download the latest version, and it'll download, uh, just give it a second. And now it'll download up here, and now we could just open the file. Uh, it's showing up on the extern. It on uh, showing up on the uh, native monitor for the laptop I'm using. And extract to extract. Okay, uh, you can use whatever extractor you want. Even the built-in Windows one works. Uh, you can go into there and use the exe. Alright, so I forgot to uninstall something. It's called iPod support. You also need to uninstall that before continuing. I'm going to reinstall everything after this clip, but I just wanted to show you so you don't make the same stupid mistake that I did. Okay, so it's still giving me the iTunes 9 or above error, which is uh, which will happen, but it won't happen to you. I, I hope not. It might happen to you or it might not. It's, it's being weird for me. I, it's... Uh, I don't know what it's doing, but it worked the last time I did it on Windows, so it should work for you. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is uh, basically the same as on Windows, so I'll just do it on my Mac. Alright, so I'm back on my Mac, and this requires a lot less setup. Uh, I'm using uh, the Arc browser, but this will work in uh, whatever browser you want. Uh, so well, let's go into Jailbreaks again. Uh, let's go, uh, let's scroll down. And by the way, it's pronounced post 6 p 0 6 spawn. Uh, so, so we're going to be calling it that now because uh, I'm uh, I'm an idiot and I thought it was uh, poxy spawn because that's easier to spay, say. Now let's uh, go through. And uh, if you're running uh, Mac OS Big Sur, uh, Catalina Big Sur, and uh, Monterey and Ventura, you're going to want to install post 6 spawn 6.1.6. Uh, uh, now that that's downloaded, we'll just go into here and, uh, uh, where is it? 
that's on the top. Uh, unzip that, and then you'll uh, be shown uh, this. And uh, before we get doing going with this, uh, so if you so this tool is not confirmed to work on Mojave or High Sierra or anything like that, you, you're gonna either gonna have to use a very old version of macOS or a very new version of macOS. Uh, you could try using one of these older tools. Uh, it might work on uh, the uh, Mac OS uh, Mac OS Mojave, but it won't. But it's not confirmed yet, uh, so I wouldn't. Uh, so I would uh, try doing this on Big Sur, Catalina, Monterey, or uh, uh, Ventura. Me personally, I am doing this on Mac OS Ventura, but you could do it on Monterey, Big Sur, and Catalina. Okay, so we want to go to p061.tool, let's click that, open, and it'll give you this error if you're on a newer version of macOS, and uh, to rectify that, we're going to be going to the system settings, privacy and security, or the security and privacy tab if you're on an older version of macOS like Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey, and uh, we're just going to press open anyway, uh, type in my password. And uh, let's just open that, and then a little, uh, and uh, poison, prison break uh, was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer, allow anyway. Uh, so now we're just going to try post P06 spawn again. Ah! And now uh, we are able to uh, uh, plug a, a device in. Uh, so I got my uh, iPod plugged in. I don't know why it's not doing its thing. Uh, okay, so it's iPod Touch 4th generation with iOS 16.1.6.1.6. Uh, click jailbreak, and this is the same for. Ah! Oh, oh, it's working, it's working. Jailbreak, jailbreak. Okay, so this is, uh... So this is the, uh... So it's the same on Windows. Uh, I'm kind of in a rush to do this because it's going to be, uh... Giving me that error again. And it just didn't give me that error this time. Uh... It's now connecting to the device. Uh, this is more like a verbose log. You won't have that on Windows. Uh... Wait, ITK exiting. All right, so uh, what I did was discon I connected my uh, Mac to Wi-Fi, but I disconnected everything from the Wi-Fi network that's in my Apple ecosystem, like my Apple Watch, my iPhone, etc. And we're now going to jailbreak it. And it seems to be working. This is the same process on Windows, by the way, if I haven't said that already many times. From here, your device should disconnect from your computer, and it should uh, just show this. Uh, you can just close that now. Uh, your device is now rebooting, and it's already disconnected, so that's fine. Okay, now just for reference, uh, you it will take a lot longer to boot up now because it's jailbroken. Uh, I it, it's probably running some sort of script, but yeah, it's uh, gonna take longer to boot up now. Because it's jailbroken, uh, it's nothing wrong with it, and also it's it'll do that on the first time, but uh, it's fine. You don't disturb it or anything. Okay, so now that you got jailbroken, Cydia should show up on the home screen. You can open that. Uh, it's now preparing the file system. Cydia will exit when it's complete. I'll come back to you and when it does. All right, so it is uh, finished, and uh, now we can go into Cydia. And uh, we could uh, do this now. Uh, sorry for the dots on the top of the screen. I'm filming in front of a window. 
So first of all, we're going to go to, uh, we're just going to go to developer because I guess it'll give you more options or something. Unable to load, the internet connection seems to be offline. Uh, I'll fix that in just a minute. Alright, so one thing I forgot about this from the older videos is that it cannot connect to, uh, to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, you'll have to connect it to 2.4 gigahertz, but the problem is now I don't have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi anymore, and I only have 5 gigahertz. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, connect it to my personal hotspot, and uh, let's wait for it to refresh, and uh, I'll update you after. And now it is connected to my mobile hotspot, and I have 20 gigabytes of mobile hotspot, so I'll be able to use it just fine. Uh, and now Cydia will be able to load. From here, uh, we want to download a few tweaks. Okay, so uh, now that I have the uh, iPod jailbroken, uh, we can go into Manage, uh, and it'll show you the, this screen. Go to Sources. If you're a developer, uh, I'd suggest just pressing User for these purposes, uh, because that'll be easier. But I decided to put developer in because it might be easier for me to make some tweaks. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is type in the Cydia repo. So uh, we're going to do Cydia. Okay, so this is the link for the Checkmate store repo. Uh, and this, uh, this will now do that and uh, go through the processes of installing the repo. And uh, once this is done, it'll restart the springboard. And uh, we'll be able to install Checkmate Store, which will be able to let us uh, go into uh, the App Store and download apps. Alright, so now the uh, IPG Cydia repo is on my device. Uh, we could go to Checkmate Store. There's a bunch of other repo, a uh, bunch of other uh, great tweaks in this repo. Uh, install it and confirm. It and uh, it'll install it, download it, and uh, we'll be able to restart the springboard and then it'll be installed so we'll be able to use the App Store again. Alright, so I got City up to date. I needed to do a couple of updates uh, in the changes menu. So, and we're going to also want to add another repo. Uh, this one's called, uh, nope, f*** off, hold on, uh, what's the link for that again, dot AI, and add the source, and that should just add the source, okay, so the other repo, we, the other tweak we want to install is, uh, AppSync Unified, which you can find in the uh, repo we just put out. I, I understand. And it'll reload data and restart the springboard and all. Just wait for this to do its thing. Restart springboard. And uh, let's just wait. Alright, so the reason we want AppSync Unified is because most apps from the App Store are not going to install on this device. So we want the AppSync Unified so we can install IPAs from wherever we, we want. We can transfer the IPAs to this from our computer and it'll work just fine. Alright, so I got the iPod connected to the computer again and uh, what we're here and uh, now what we're able to do is we're able to use this tool called iFunbox. Uh, which is basically like in a file manager for applications and stuff and you're able to uh, uh, install IPAs from here. Alright, so I got an older version of iFunbox because uh, the uh, newer version of iFunbox that I was using uh, doesn't uh, support uh, downloading IPAs to the device so what we're going to do is download a couple of apps. So this is iBeer installing iBeer on the iPod and user applications iBeer shows up and if we go on to the iPod iBeer is right there <laughs> all 
All right, there's also this website called uh, mtmdev.org. I'll put the link on screen. Also, the link's in the description as well. That'll uh, give you a list of apps you can download, like uh, uh, Reddit Client, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, uh, YouTube, Instagram. And what we're going to do is just go to install Instagram, too, as well. And you could just tap to install, and it'll just install everything. Okay, while we're waiting for uh, the uh, stuff from uh, the mtmdev.org site to download, let's play a little Flappy Bird. Ah. Alright, so I was able to install one and a half pages of apps on this uh, iPod 4th generation with Jailbreak. Uh, I installed a couple with iFunbox, uh, iBeer, and Flappy Bird, and the rest were installed via the website that I quoted in the other video. So, uh, there's a few apps that work iBeer works, uh, yeah, uh, you can use Flappy Bird until you get incessantly angry that you can only get past three points and throw it across the room. You can use Speed speed Test by Ookla, but uh, that won't give you an accurate reading because the antennas on these are not the best. Uh, you can use Minecraft, I mean, I uh, right before filming this clip, uh, you could, I was able to go into a creative world and, uh, use the creative world to uh, uh, play a bit of Minecraft and uh, it works it just won't save your progress uh, and uh, there's a couple apps that straight up won't work like uh, uh, I know uh, one of those apps is uh, uh, the uh, what, uh, what what okay Geekbench won't work uh, Geekbench will uh, just uh, open Oh, it'll actually work, actually. I don't think there's many apps that you can install from that site and not work. Spotify won't work on it because they ended their 32-bit device support completely, so even if you have an older version, you won't be able to use it. And, uh... YouTube won't work without some tweaks, and I haven't installed those tweaks yet, but... Uh, G-Sign and Fix is one of them. Uh, to sign into your Google account, you'll have to use G-Sign and Fix. And if you want to make, uh, double the tweet length, uh... Uh, you have to use double tweet length uh, for Twitter and uh, Twitter won't work without some tweaks that I'm not going to get into in this video uh, but anyway uh, yeah it seems to be usable and uh, it works I guess so uh, thank you guys for watching comment like subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye